What's up? It's your girl Reese and welcome back to my space. If you're new, welcome. We talk everything fashion and beauty. Today we are going to do a spring wardrobe essential. Kind of like a spring capsule wardrobe. Everything you need for your spring outfits. So we're starting first and foremost with a white t-shirt. Now I personally think a white t-shirt is something that you have to have for all seasons. But for spring specifically, I think that this muscle t-shirt that's so popular right now is an absolute must. It looks so great dressed up, dressed down, uh, with skirts, with pants, uh, basically a bit of everything. Here I styled it with white pair of pants or like a cream pair of pants, fun statement belt, and these nude sandals. And I just think this is a beautiful monochrome look. Close so you guys can see that. It's just so, so structured and great. And it gives you that like V shape into your waist. So it kind of snatches your waist and we love that. Um, but yeah, this is an absolute must. I wear this so much. I think this is gonna go straight into winter as well. And if this trend does die, and I'm sure it will, you can just kind of take off the shoulder pads and wear it normal. So number one. Next up we have the leather jacket, Old Faithful. And I mean, if you don't have a leather jacket, you need a leather jacket because one, it transcends through all seasons, but I especially love leather jackets for the fall, spring seasons because these two seasons can be hot and cold. So for spring, it starts off cold, it ends up hot. Throughout the day, the weather is a little bit crazy. So a leather jacket is absolutely perfect for this. One, it's super chic, it is super badass. Two, it goes literally with everything. You can wear this with a pair of jeans, like a t-shirt like I did here, pop on some heels so it looks a little bit more evening dressy, put on some sneakers so it's a little more casual, wear a dress and throw this over, wear this just over your shoulder so you're like a real, real cool guy. And it looks great. Also, I love that leather jackets you can get from all price ranges. You can do faux leather, you can do real leather, but if you invest in a good piece, uh, whether it's faux or real leather, it lasts forever. So I think this is absolutely a spring wardrobe essential. Okay, up next is a blazer. Now you can do a blazer in a neutral color like black or this brown. I really, really love this brown blazer. Um, this is a men's blazer. Find one at your thrift shop, your local thrift shop once we're allowed out, um, or online at a thrift shop, but a men's blazer during spring is just elitist. I think this gives you such good boxy structure. It means business. It is perfect to go over any outfit that you want um, on a hotter spring day. I mean, this is an all white look and I threw on this blazer and it gives it that like cool edge, this cool guy edge. And I'm so obsessed with this look. I think the thing about spring dressing is you want to be able to take layers off because you really never know what you're going to get in terms of weather for the day. So a big factor in these is wearing really chic jackets or really chic over coats. And I think a blazer is something that you can never ever really go wrong with. So this is number three on spring wardrobe essentials. Next up, we're continuing with outerwear and the layered look and we're going with a trench coat. For spring, I like to do a shorter trench um, because you don't really require the full length trench to keep warm on your legs. Your legs can deal with a little bit of chill, spring chill. A little bit of spring chill is okay. So I think a trench coat is amazing because like the leather jacket, it goes with everything. But it does give you kind of an elegance factor that the leather doesn't. Leather is way more cool guy, trench, elegance. So this is something that you can wear to work once we start working again. We're going to work again. Um, and you could wear it on like a more elegant night out, date nights, girls nights, nicer, ritzier places. You can wear this with a dress. Like it literally goes with everything. It keeps you nice and warm. And there's so many shapes and styles of trenches. But yeah, trench coat. Absolutely a must for your spring wardrobe. Just super, super chic. Okay, up next is your slip dress. You really can't go wrong with any color slip dress. I have them in a multitude of neutral colors. Um, this right here is one of my favorites too. This is kind of like a gray. It's a little more fitting to your body. This one's a little more loose to my body, but this has a really, really fun slit here. They're just essential for spring because they're light they give you circulation for air underneath 
You can dress them up. I'm wearing them with heels right now. You can totally wear these with sneakers or um, sandals or anything. I typically like to leave the house in something like this with my leather jacket on. So it gives it a little bit more of like a bad boy look. It does not give it an elegant look. Um, I love this. I love this look together. It's just the perfect piece of clothing for spring because it is so light. So it's light enough for a hot day, but if you layer on top of it, you're good for the colder parts of the day. Um, and it's just so flattering. Like honestly, I think this slip dress is so flattering on all body shapes, body types. I am not so curvy at all. I, uh, but I do think a slip dress on me, even something like this without so much shape, is so feminine on me. And I think it's so feminine on all women. So absolutely a must have in anyone's wardrobe for spring. Up next, now we're moving on to bottoms. Uh, an absolute must in everybody's closet is a good pair of jeans. And what is a good pair of jeans? Well, ladies, a good pair of jeans is something that will stand up or stand the test of time. That looks great on you. And I actually love these jeans. These um, are the J Brand 12, I think it's the 12, 12 um, straight jeans. While the shape is really flattering on me and it, it's, it gives me length, what I love about these jeans is that there is a little bit of stretch. J Brand jeans do typically have a little bit of stretch, but they're made of mostly cotton. So that means that they will last through a long, long time. I am a big, big denim girl, so I love wearing jeans. I know some people hate jeans, but honestly, a good pair of jeans are unmatched. Like you, there's no looking better if you can find a pair of jeans that your ass look, or that your ass looks great in, that you look tall and lengthy in. There's nothing, nothing like it. So if you don't love jeans, it's probably because you haven't found a pair of jeans that you love, love so much yet. Okay, next up is a pair of Bermuda shorts. And I mean, you guys saw how passionate I was about jeans, and I kind of feel the same about Bermuda shorts. Um, short shorts is just not something I wear too much of anymore in this day or at this point in my life. Um, so I graduated into loving Bermuda shorts. I think they're super chic, and you can style them up, you can style them down wear them in every single color of the world in rainbow. You can get denim ones, you can get faux leather ones, you can get leather ones, you can get cotton ones. I just think Bermuda jeans are so, so flattering and so chic on. These ones are actually some that I made myself. So if you have a pair of old denim and you want some, you want to give Bermuda shorts a try, just cut them a little bit, like a hand above the knee. Yeah, it's about a hand. <laughs> cut them a hand above the knee. Uh, and turn them into Bermuda shorts. So get you a pair of Bermuda shorts. They're so in. I think the short shorts are out. So yeah, if the short shorts are out, then you need something to replace them. And this is it, sis. This is it. Okay, so we're moving on from clothing to accessories. You should, can you count shoes as accessory? Um, and first on my spring essentials list is an old favorite. I wear the hell out of these shoes. I mean, you can probably see they are so beat up, so worn down but whatever, I love them. These are my Gucci Prince Towns, I think they're called, in the white color, and I honestly need them in every single color. One, they are so comfortable. Two, I think this is the perfect transitional shoe from winter to spring because if you're like me and you did not have time to go get to pedicure, but you don't wanna wear socks anymore and you want a little circulation on your feet, then you need these because you know, it gives you that elegant front and closed toe, but also you get circulation in the back and that's so important to me, <laughs> so important. Also, again, these are so versatile. You can dress them up, dress them down. Uh, I've worn them with jeans and I'll post some pictures here of outfits I've seen them worn with jeans. Um, you can wear them a little more dressy like I am wearing it now. So I wear them to work, I wear them out uh, with friends. I wear them literally as often as I can. But yeah, these are, Top, top favorite, perfect, perfect spring shoe because you don't have to wear socks and really what other seasons can you wear this except for the warmer ones. So get your wear, girl. Get, get if you have them, wear the hell out of them and style them with everything. And then, okay, up next for shoes is Old Faithful a white pair of sneakers. For me, my favorites are the Nike Air Force One. Can you see that? Yes, Nike Air Force Ones. And I really like the Reebok Classics. I don't really know the name of them. Um, but 
if you're looking for more like high end, also wear socks with your shoes. But for purposes of this video, I have not. Yeah, like for higher end white sneakers, um, Common Projects I think has a really flattering shape, clean lines, and I've heard really, really great things about the Chanel um, sneakers too, but those are a little more dad shoes that are, I'm not a fan of. So yeah, if I were to do a designer pair of white sneakers, I'd probably do the Common Projects. But yeah, these are top favorites for me. I've owned so many Air Force Ones in my life. I used to wear them in high school as a teenager, and who thought they'd be doing a comeback into fashion today? Super versatile piece of or um, shoe, literally super casual. I mean, it makes your look more casual for sure, um, but it goes with everything. You can go for days, like leave the house in the morning, go some brunch, meet some friends, go for lunch, hit a patio, now it's dinner time, you're at drinks, it's okay because you're wearing your Air Force Ones. You end up walking somewhere, you're on an adventure, it's cool because you're still comfortable, girl, comfortable. So yeah, this is my way, favorite way to wear them, but I literally wear these things with everything and they go through the seasons. You can wear them all year long, but I especially think they're great for the spring, summer months. Okay, next up, which I think is super necessary, is a pair of nude sandals. These are super plain. I love them though. Uh, okay, that's hard. These are my thong leather sandals in a beige color. These are from Teeks. They make various um, styles that are super, super minimal, but you know, these are a fan favorite for me. Um, they literally go with everything. I think nude over black and white for this, if you're gonna, if you're not gonna buy all three, then buy the nude to start because it literally goes with everything. And like, take this dress for example, it's a really nice dress, um, and you would think putting on thong sandals, it's like kind of casual, but I feel like because these are leather and they do have like the very, very thin strap, it's still okay. Like it's very forgiving and still looks super adorable. You could, look at it, let me show you a little light. You could wear this to church. You can wear this to a baby shower because it's still cute as hell even though they're thong sandals. Absolutely a need, goes with friggin' everything. Okay, moving on from shoes. <sighs> this is my baby. I bought this bag last year and everybody and their mother needs to get a basket bag for spring, summer. I mean, we already use basket bags for the beach so why not get like a little bit of a cuter one and wear it all throughout spring? You can literally put away all of your leather bags. Maybe you might not want to, but you can if you carry, if you have a cute, chic little basket bag. I love this so much. It is just adorable, perfect. I think the leather detailing, like the straps and then the logo in front gives it a little bit of a chic factor. Uh, it's more of a dress down. Um, yeah, I just think it's adorable. I think it's... This is the only time of the year where you can really wear this, so wear it, get one. And last but not least, on my accessories that you need for spring are some sunglasses. And not just any sunglasses. I think a pair of good gold sunglasses really goes with everything, ties a look together. And I think people often forget about sunglasses. You know, they, they wear them in the car to block the sunlight for driving, but then they don't wear it outside. And honestly, I think a cute pair of sunglasses in a gold color, um, you can literally wear and not take off of your face. Like if you're going to a patio, this stays on my face, guys. I do not take this off. Shield me from the haters. <laughs> Um, yeah, I just think it's so cute, so necessary. Shape is super chic. Um, doesn't have to be this shape. Like, I've seen really, really great aviator shape, but I think it's just the gold color. The gold color for spring. It's warm, um, it's rich, you know? Yeah, there's just so many wins about a good pair of gold sunnies. So that's it for me, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Everything I spoke about today, all the pieces are super versatile and I think that's so important in a capsule wardrobe. These are pieces that are base wardrobe. These are things that you can build up on, what, whether you dress them up, dress them down, accessorize them. They literally go with everything. They are great investments and a great base to building uh, an amazing wardrobe. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you did and let me know in the comments what your favorite uh, spring essential is and I'll see you guys next time.